some comments on a video that I was reading, this question kind of popped into my head. I figure since the cult questions are rather heavy, something a little lighter is in order for this week. So I figured I'd throw this in as somewhat of a bonus question of sorts. For those who don't know, Jehovah's Witnesses are not literal six-day creationists. They're actually kind of liberal on their views of Earth creation and so forth. Now, they still believe in a lot of literal Genesis, like the Flood story, Adam and Eve, or the Tower of Babel. However, what is something, at least that I've seen, and I'm pretty sure is an organization-wide agreement, dinosaurs existed. So, what's so significant about dinosaurs existing? Is that they also don't believe that human evolution occurred. In fact, there's a whole book called The Evolution Book dedicated to the subject. Now, I'm not going to get into any of the scientists quoted in the book or any of the actual arguments used in the evolution book because we'd be here all day. How do we know that dinosaurs existed? Mostly through archaeology. Uh, some dinosaurs, full skeletons have been found. Uh, others, a full skull has been found. Uh, some partial skeletons have been found. Uh, some only small pieces of the dinosaur skeleton has been found. In fact, some dinosaurs are named for the only feature that was found on the skeleton. Yet, new species of dinosaurs are never questioned as having existed by Jehovah's Witnesses. For the most part, archaeological findings are understood that a millennia has happened between the time these dinosaurs existed and the current time. Partial skeletons that show a unique feature more than likely are a different species. I've never heard the argument that a velociraptor is actually a retarded cousin of the Tyrannosaurus rex. However, in the case of human evolution, Homo erectus, Homo ergaster, Neanderthal man, and so forth are roundly called hoaxes. I'm curious why this is. If archaeology can be trusted to be accurate in the findings of dinosaurs, theories go unchallenged about skeletons which are much less completed than the, the mentioned Homo sapien ancestors, why are the human evolutionary findings discredited? Why is it dinosaurs can be accepted as having existed and fit in the realm outside of the Bible or even before Genesis, but Homo erectus, Homo ergaster, and Neanderthal cannot hold the same distinction? So this bonus tough question is, how can incomplete findings of new species of dinosaurs be accepted readily? At the same time, more complete findings of human evolution are thrown out.